Toyota's mistake has caused engine damage, but if you take care of your engine properly, you won't have this problem. Check it out. These particular Toyota engines had a lot of oil burning issues. As a matter of fact, if you check out on the hood itself, 2AZFE, then they used the wrong rings. That's right. So you could have some dramatic oil burning. However, if you have the 2AZFSE, then it's even worse. Why? Because you're going to have carbon buildup issues. This is a Toyota, believe it or not. It's the Toyota Scion. It's a 2005 model, 2.4 liter, 16 valve, variable valve timing, intelligence. That's what the VVT stands for. However, these vehicles were actually made for the younger generation. I'm not sure why Toyota rebranded these engines as the Scion, but they quit making them. And this doesn't mean that you can't get parts for them because obviously Toyota's still in business. There's a lot of aftermarket parts for Toyotas. You can easily prevent problems with the engine and you can still have great reliability as Toyota's known for and for a great price. Believe it or not, even though, yes, they have problems with the oil control rings, well, there's one more good thing in mind that you can actually just change your oil on time more often than usual. Like I say, maybe not too often. And I'm talking about maybe 3,000 miles or 5,000. And the vehicle will last for a long time if you just do that. You can see the vehicle even has nice rims. Good sporty look. As you can see, this vehicle does have keyless entry. So that's pretty nice. This just flops right down. You have plenty of room in this hatchback. Good little style. You can get these cars for usually pretty cheap, about $1,000 or $2,000. The great thing is, if the engine goes down, no big deal. These are easy to work on and cheap. If you weren't familiar already with Toyota making these vehicles, and most of the people even agree, the best ones are made in Japan. You have power windows, power side mirrors, you have this sporty looking three gauge cluster not to mention the entertainment system doesn't look too bad most of everything still works for these older vehicles you can see floor mats sunroof which is pretty cool and believe it or not after all these years there's definitely no leaks and probably the best part i'd like for you guys to see I'll start it up so you guys can hear it run. Check out the odometer. 319,000 miles and still chugging along, sounding great. However, I will say, once again, you can get an engine at the junkyard, typically for these vehicles, used at that price, but no big issue. And yes, you sometimes have problems with the sensors for the tires you may want to replace that they can be expensive typically i don't worry about it i just check the pressure myself in the tires as you can tell there's plenty of room for a full-size adult to sit in the back surprisingly listen at the engine it's not loud at all it's not missing no big problems like i said just keep check on the oil if you need some extra room to go anywhere, well, pretty simple. Just flop those seats down. Look at all that space you have in this hatchback. The signal lights are on the side mirrors. And unfortunately, the downside, it's only a two door. While, as I said, it was marketed for younger people. We all know the SUVs have since taken over the entire market since this time period. And even so, People at least want a four door. They have large families, I suppose, need more room, more so than in the past. However, let's check it out and see how well it rides, even after all these years. It actually handles really smooth, surprisingly. Might not seem that way, that's my camera stand. I had to use a different one for this. That was a big pothole I just went into, in the well, in the gravel. 
Even in the rain, the car handles well, feels smooth. Potholes aren't a huge issue. Well guys, if there's anything you can give on this one, I think this is a great car. The brand was just fine. They didn't need to come up with some new name and try to work on it. As always guys, please help all you can and thank you for your kindness. Thanks for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.